Welcome, I'm the Pink Professor and today we are talking about inorganic substances. So the term organic gets thrown around a lot these days. Think about organic produce, uh, hasn't been treated with chemicals or grown with pesticides, but th that's not the way we use the word organic in biochem. In chemistry, organic means it's a molecule that contains carbon and hydrogen. It is a carbon-based molecule. So hydrogen is important too, but the biggest thing is that it's carbon-based. That is the key to being organic. It's usually fairly large. They usually dissolve in water or organic liquids. That will be things like alcohol, ethanol, things like that. Um, and the four main ones that we think of are these carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. The things that are on the side of your nutrition information on your food. Carbs, proteins, fats. Uh, and then we throw in some DNA down there as well. Inorganic molecules, though, are basically the opposite. They don't usually contain carbon and hydrogen, although there are, are exceptions. So if you see carbon, do not automatically say organic. You need to look at all the facts. Usually fairly small. They usually dissociate, so that means they make ions. Those are those things with positive or negative charges. Remember, these are cations. These are anions, negative and positive. Um, look at these examples. Water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, inorganic salts. So compare these two carefully and use all the facts to determine if something is organic or inorganic. So briefly, these inorganic molecules. Water, we know it's the most abundant compound in living material. Um, actually, about two-thirds of your weight, about 70%, is actually water. It's in your body fluids, it's in your cells, it's around your cells. You have to have it for transport. Most of your blood is made of water. Water is important in your temperature regulation, both absorbing and transporting heat and sweating and cooling. There's a million uses for water in the body, making it one of the single most important compounds in, in our lives. All right, if that water was important, then remember that oxygen is definitely just as important for our survival. Remember that organelles here are using oxygen to release energy from nutrients. So what is all that talking about? Organelles, we're talking about mitochondria primarily. Mitochondria are the organelle, the organelles that perform cell respiration. And that is what is releasing energy in the form of ATP from our food, from sugar, glucose, in order so that those can we can get energy to do all the other cellular activities and chemical reactions in the body. Don't confuse this with regular respiration or breathing. We breathe in to get the oxygen in, and then our cells have to do cell respiration to actually use that oxygen. So carbon dioxide, not really needed by our body. It's actually a waste product, right? We release it during those metabolic reactions. We're talking about that cell respiration that we just talked about. That's a byproduct of cell respiration as we use the oxygen to release energy from sugar. Of course, it's used by other things in nature. We use carbon dioxide for photosynthesis in plants. But for us, it is a waste product. It is one of those or inorganic substances that has carbon. So that's one of those exceptions to the rule that carbon is organic. It doesn't have hydrogen, though. There's you a clue um, to remembering that it is inorganic. Last but not least, we have inorganic salts. Salts are usually things that dissociate and make ions. So you're thinking about, you know, table salt, NaCl, you can have all kinds of other salts in the body that release potassium ions, calcium ions, etc. And all those ions are important in your body. Necessary for nerve conduction, uh, nervous impulses, necessary for muscle contraction. So all of those small ions are going to be super important as we go through anatomy and learn about the different processes that happen in each body system. All right, that's it for inorganic substances. Remember, keep on doing your best and you will keep getting better. Thanks.